क्वेश्चन इज डेवलप हिच पैरामीटर मॉडल फॉर ट्रांसिस्टर एम्पलीफायर हेंस ड्रॉ हिच पैरामीटर मॉडल फॉर फॉर सी बी सी सी एंड सी ई मोड्स इट इज आंस फॉर टेन मार्क्स फ्रॉम ऑगस्ट सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी ओके सो हिच पैरामीटर यू नो दैट इट स्टैंड फॉर हाइब्रिड पैरामीटर्स राइट मॉडल फॉर अ डेवलप अ हिच पैरामीटर मॉडल फॉर अ ट्रांसिस्टर एम्पलीफायर सो यूजली अ ट्रांसिस्टर एम्पलीफायर विल बी मॉडल एज अ टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क राइट so what are the parameters taken so uh, the input parameters will be your input current and input voltage and the output parameters will be your output current and output voltage so it can be configured as a, a two port device transistor amplifier and you will have the four parameters so in this case <clears throat> generally the two parameters are taken as your dependent variables and the other two are taken as your independent variables so in this uh yeah, you are taking your input voltage and your output current as your dependent variables that is it depends on the other two factors so what are the other two factors input current and your output voltage so i can write that vi is equal to what will be the value vi will be equal to the function of uh, this two uh, independent variables right i i and v not in general you can write it by means of your hybrid parameters h11 h12 and h22 as v i is equal to it is dependent on your i i and v not so v i is equal to input voltage is equal to h11 into i1 plus h12 into v not and i not is equal to the second dependent variable output current i not is equal to h21 into i i plus h22 into v not so this remains the same okay independent variable so it can be this h, h hybrid parameters you are taking this the word hybrid uh, stands for uh, the case because it, it all the parameters have different dimensions that is the reason why you have used here a hybrid so it can be replaced by means of your alphabetic letters such h11 will be your input h12 will be your r that stands for reverse and h21 Uh, is replaced by hf and h22 is ref, uh, uh, is replaced by ho output okay so input output reverse forward so these are the uh, replacement so i can write that vi is equal to hi into ii plus hr into v not and i not is equal to hf into ii plus ho or h not into v not so this is your generalized equation of your hybrid parameter so where you are going to take what will be your hi so hi will be equal to vi divided by ii if i make v not as 0 that is what written here hi which is equal to h11 which is equal to vi divided by ii given what will be equal to 0 your v not is made to 0 so here you can see that v by i so you know that v is equal to ir right so r is equal to v by i is it looking like resistance that's why it is called as vi both are input right so it is also called by another name input resistance and the and the condition is the output is short circuit because v not is equal to 0 okay so this is your first case second one hr is equal to h12 is equal to what is the value h12 hr is equal to v not vi divided by v not keeping ii as 0 that is why that, that is why it is written here H12 is equal to VI divided by V0 given II is equal to zero. So here you know that both are voltage parameters, right? So it is also called. So what is your voltage gain? V0 divided by VI. Here it is reverse, right? VI divided by V0. That's why it is called as reverse transfer voltage ratio. It is a ratio of voltage, but it is reverse. VI divided by V0. so here it is also called as open circuit because your input is open circuited in this condition so i i is equal to 0 so input is open circuit that's why you have the parameter as r here okay next one is forward hf is equal to h21 is equal to what is the value for hf hf is equal to i not divided by i i it will be your current gain right given v not is equal to 0 making v not is equal to 0 so here also v not is equal to 0 v not is equal to 0 so what is the condition output will be short circuit so this is called as forward transfer current ratio so it is looking like current gain output divided by input current so it is forward it is output by input so forward transfer current ratio okay 
last one is ho ho is equal to h22 is equal to i not divided by right h not is equal to i not divided by v not i i is equal to 0 so this is is this the reverse of the resistance it is called as admittance right it is i by v i not divided by v not both is output so it is called as output admittance keeping input as open circuit just similar to this i i is equal to zero so input will be open circuit so in general the two port network can be converted into an hybrid model with four parameters right input voltage output voltage input current output current and the uh, equalization is done by the hybrid parameter the input side is replaced by thevenin's equivalent circuit and the output side is replaced by the Norton's equivalent circuit. So, this whole thing is going to be your transistor. Okay. So, the Thevenin's equivalent circuit means what? A, a voltage source in series with that of your resistor. And whereas Norton's equivalent circuit is a current source in parallel with that of your resistor. Okay. So, this is your replacement. So, how will you replace here? Since here, uh, H, this will be equal to your resistance will be equal to your HR. And your uh, voltage source will be equal to H12 into V0. This is your generalized. Output side will be replaced by your current source which is equal to H21 or HF into. So, I can write it in other way also. HR and this is sorry HI right. Here it is HI. HR into V0. HF into II and HO. H0. Parallel with that of your resistance so here in this case it is admittance okay so this is your generalized diagram so now we are going to your next question is to replace uh, draw it for three configurations cb cc and ce modes we are going to draw the hybrid equivalent for all the three cases okay so first we have to know this if you know this it is easy for you to draw for the three cases so what is your ce configuration your emitter is grounded input will be your base so input is your base and your output will be your collector right so you know the uh, diagram right generalized diagram so what will be your diagram hr and here there will be voltage source with sorry hi hr into v naught output side what you will be getting hf into I, I, arrow mark depends on which uh, terminal and you have a parallel resistance that is HO. Okay, now you are going to replace this by different configuration. So, you know that emitter is grounded, emitter will be the um, base part. Now, your base is your input. So, this is going to be your input side, this is going to be your output side. So, collector is your output, base is your input. Write that emitter is grounded, which is common. Okay, so here HI, HR, HO. Okay, HO and HF. So towards this you are going to add emitter. Common emitter means add emitter E. Okay, so here it will be replaced by HIE. Here it is HRE. Now what is your output voltage? Output voltage in this case is VC, right? VC. Then current source. Current source is HO, right? HOE into what is your input current? Input current is equal to ib right so here it is ib it is not ic it is ib now here it is ho add as e so hoe just similar to that you have to go, do it for your common base configuration so base configuration base will be grounded emitter will be your input collector will be your output so first finish of that base will be your ground common common base will be your common emitter is your input and collector is your output so, HI, HR, HF, HO, okay. Now, what will be the value HI, IB, right. It is common base configuration. So, HRB into what is your input voltage? Input voltage is equal to VE, right. Or VE or VEB, okay. So, VEB, HRB into VEB or VE, okay. Now, here what is the value HF into B right base HFE into what is your input current input current is equal to IE that's why you have got here IE so since it is in the opposite direction your current will go the arrow mark will change okay now what is your uh, value here HO what is your uh, common it is HOB 
Similarly, for your common collector configuration, what is your common collector configuration? Collector will be grounded, input is going to be your base, output is going to be your emitter. So in this case, what will be a collector finish of this? Collector will be grounded, input is your base, output is your emitter. So HI, HR, HF, HO. Now everywhere add a C, okay, HIC. Now what is your uh, value here, voltage source HRC into what is your output voltage? Output voltage is equal to VCE or VCE, this is written here, VCE. Now what is your uh, current source HFE into, sorry, HFC into what is your input current? Input current is equal to base, that is why it is written as IB and here it is HOC. So these are the three configurations of your hybrid parameters which is asked for 10 marks.